So welcome to geometry. Geometry is the topic which is always on point. Like literally. Because this topic is all about points, lines and angles. So let's get into our 15 minute summary. So let's actually talk about angles. Angles normally consist of two lines, a point, and the distance between them, which we call the angle. We measure angles in degrees, just like temperature actually. When we're labeling an angle, normally we have some points labeled, like that's point A, point B, and point C. So we would write this as angle A, B, C. You always put the vertex or the tip of the angle as the middle letter over here. So there are many different types of angles which I have shown on the page here and I'm going to talk about each of them. The first one is a cute angle. Look I'm putting a bow on it because it's so cute and these are angles that go from 0 to 89 degrees. So they're so cute, they're so small. Then we have got the right angle. The right angle is always right. Um, I'm drawing like a lawyer. You know, like, oh, I'm right. And they are very precise. They are exactly 90 degrees. And you know you've got a right angle if you see this kind of like rigid square inside. It is right. It is 90. Next up, we have got the obtuse angle. Um, no easy way to remember this, folks. But the angle of this goes from 91 degrees to 179. So it's a bit bigger than a right, but still smaller than the straight angle. Any ideas why it's called a straight angle? Duh, it's on a straight line. And angles on a straight line always add up to 180 degrees. Next up, we have got the reflex angles. Um, I don't know, a good way to think of it, I normally demonstrate like being, having really good reflexes, like you're really flexible. Like imagine stretching your arms all the way here. You're like super flexy. These angles are bigger than 180 and are smaller than 360 degrees. So maybe we'll go up to 359. Because if you've got a full revolution, which is another word for turning, turning all the way around, this is your 360 degrees. So once you know these special rules about angles, you can start to do a little bit of algebra. Ew, no, don't get scared. <laughs> don't get scared of that algebra. It's going to be okay. But you can start to do algebra and find missing angles on these lines. So this one here, it's a straight line. Can you see? And angles on a straight line add to 180 degrees. So if this angle over here is 65, something, our missing angle plus 65 degrees equals 180. So to figure it out, we can just subtract 65 degrees from 180. And that happens to turn out to be 115 degrees. Woo! You did the algebra. It wasn't too bad. Next one here, we've got a right angle. Order in the court. I don't know. I'm trying to help you remember right angles. And they add up to 90 degrees. So something plus 35 equals 90 degrees. So actually give it a pause and see if you can figure out what the missing angle is going to be. All right. Hopefully you were able to find out that this angle is 55 degrees. 90 minus 35. Look at you go. After we did angles, we started to look at angles on parallel lines. Now, parallel lines are two lines that never meet. Think of a train track, think of um, an equal sign. The two lines can go on forever and they'll never know the other one even exists because they'll never meet. It's so sad, isn't it? But that's okay. Because sometimes they can be cut across by something called the transversal. Transversal. It goes across both those parallel lines. And then fun things start to happen with our angles. In the armpits of the transversal, you start to get some matching angles. 
and the special properties that these angles have. All right, so we've got some parallel lines and some transversals, and I'm gonna show you some cool things about them. First thing is, if you've got angles that look like this, so if you join these armpits up, I call them armpits, and you trace that out, makes a letter F. These angles here, boop and boop, are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are the same. So if you match and color in the angles and they happen to be corresponding, they are exactly the same. The next situation we got is here is an angle in an armpit <laughs> and here's another angle in an armpit. So trace it up, trace it across, trace it up, trace it across and it happens to form a Z. If you see a Z or an N, these are called alternate angles and they are the same. Isn't this cool? What I mean by same is if this angle is 55 degrees, its alternate angle is also 55 degrees. Cool. And the last one is, oopsies, I started drawing the lines before angles, these two. So you draw this like angle, connect the lines, and it looks like a C or a U. We call these co-interior angles because they are in the inside. They make like an inside, like a room but these angles add up to 180 degrees. So remember corresponding, they're like matching on the lines, alternate, it's like a zigzag, alternating, and co interior, which is the C, they add up to 180 degrees. Another way to help you remember these is that angles are fun. Can you see how I'm like, here's the co interior? Whoops, it should be round. And then we've got N angles are fun also this is a christmas themed um video so that's why i've got the whole red and green kind of theme going on this is mistletoe wow i'm such an artiste all right this is the type of question you would get they give you one angle and then say okay suss the rest the first thing i'm gonna do is like color in the armpit so that's the angle in yellow and let's focus on X first. So color in that angle too. Now see if you can connect the dots and make a letter. Extend those rays out a little bit. Whoa, yes, it happens to make an F. Remember the F angles are corresponding, so they are the same. So here is 55. All right, now that we've got this angle is 55, let's trace that angle again and work on angle Y. So trace that angle as well. Does it form a letter? Oh, it does, it forms a Z. Alternating angles are the same. So this is also 55. So the last one is Z. It's being a little bit annoying because it's not following our rules. But, hold up, can we see a straight line? Yes, and angles on a straight line add up to 180. So Z, is 180 minus 55, which is 125. So don't forget about those angles. Right angle so add up to 90 and straight angles add up to 180. Don't forget about those as well. All right, a couple special rules for us to remember as well. So we've done angles, we've done parallel lines, and now we're gonna do some shapes. The angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And the angles in a quadrilateral equal 360 degrees and actually why does this equal 360 degrees because if you split it there's two triangles and if each of these add up to 180 it equals 360 whoa so using this logic about splitting shapes into triangles you can find the sum of the angles so adding of the angles in any polygon Polygon is a shape with as many sides as you want. Polygon, not polygen. <laughs> the rule for this is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. But hopefully you can see in another video how I came up with that rule. For now, this is just to recap. All right, so we got two shapes for you to find the missing angle. We've got a Santa hat over here. Oh, geez, why did I do that in black? I'm so sorry. And we've got Rudolph's pen over here. 
So pause and see if you can find out what the missing angles are. Let's do that Santa hat first. We know that angles in this equal 180 degrees. So in order to find our missing angle, we just need to do 180 minus 55 minus 65, which equals 60 degrees. Woohoo! Hopefully you got that too. Now for Rudolph's pen. This is a bit difficult, but we have to observe these dashy lines. Wherever you see the dash lines means those lines, we don't know how long the size is, but they are the same. So if these sides are the same and these sides are the same and these angles are the same, that means that these angles over here must be the same as well. So Y and Z must be the same. So angles in the quadrilateral equal 360 and we're going to minus 135 minus 135 and that's actually 90 degrees but we've got two angles which are exactly the same so to figure them out we divide by two and we get our final answer of 45 degrees for y and z i hope you were good with that so that ends our summary of year seven geometry and I hope that was helpful.